Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be making this simple whistle. Uh, it's going to be a short video, just going to be looking at the shell tool and a few others. So follow along and see how you go. This is a pretty straightforward design. I'm going to start with a sketch on the front plane push C or you can click up there for center diameter circle and we will make this a 32 next I'm going to push R or click up there for two point rectangle and I want this to line up with our origin there and this will be 10 millimeters by 45 that is fine so I'll push enter and it is set. I can see if I drag this I can still move it around so what I want to do is also set this distance so D for dimension to there 16 and then we'll set this one to 45 now I can see it's fully constrained. Now finish sketch and extrude. We'll extrude this all these profiles I'm going to go symmetric and I want it to be a total of 26 millimeters so 13 in either direction and there we've got the beginnings of our whistle. The next step is pretty straightforward we're going to select the shell tool over here and we're going to select this face the one that we want to remove. I'm going to make that two millimeters and click OK. Now if we have to go do a inspection and do a section analysis, I'll just click on this face here. We'll be able to see inside that it's carved it out quite nicely with the only opening being the front. So I'll hop out of there. I want to draw this little rectangle on the top and extrude that down. So we'll go create sketch on the top here. I just want to orient it this way. And again R for two point rectangle and we'll just mark it up there. Now what I want to do, I want this line to be coincident with the origin. I'm just going to add in a couple of constraints. So four millimeters that side and we'll do the same on the other side. Four millimeters and then we'll dimension this line to six. So now we've got our fully constrained rectangle in there. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to extrude over here. And we're just going to extrude this into our whistle. And it's going to be a cut operation. So that's just left a nice little hole in there. We're almost done. What I want to do now is uh, create a sketch on this middle part plane over here. And we'll slice it. So this is the center of our, or well, the center line of our whistle. I want to make a little loop over here for the string to go on. So I'll create a center diameter circle and we'll snap it onto that line there and just drag it out. And 10 millimeters, so I'm happy with that. But I don't want this complete profile. So I'm going to go create uh, something that I can use to cut it. So just so I can visualize it nicely, I'm going to do a three point arc and run it through there. Then if we push T or click on trim, I'm able to get rid of that. And now that we've used this line to split our circle, we can get rid of that as well. Note this is not fully constrained, so if you had to grab it, it would move around a bit. If you're not happy with that, you can set a couple of, um, couple of dimensions in. So once we're at this point, we can just finish sketch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to construct and plane along path. The path we're selecting is this circle and I'm going to drag it all the way to the edge there and click OK. Now I will go create sketch on this new plane. C for center down to circle and we'll do a two millimeter circle and finish sketch. Then we'll go create sweep, select this profile and then select our path. 
and this is going to be a join operation. Now if I go into the inspect section analysis again, I can see here that it is not intersecting or not going past the boundary line of the inside of the whistle. So that's our whistle. And then lastly, I just want to go change the appearance. We can either right click and go to appearance, or you can use the shortcut key S and type in appearance and it'll bring it up there. So let's go with something blue. Here's a blue glossy plastic. I'll download that material. And what I'm going to do is just drag it across. So drag it and drop. And there we've got our blue whistle. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. There are a number of other beginner uh, practice exercises. There's a playlist you can check out on my channel. Until next time, bye.